In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about the simplest form of a fraction. Let's take a fraction. Let's say we have 10 by 5. Now, can we find a number? Can we find a number which can divide both these two of uh, numerator and denominator? You can say that, hey, yes, if I divide this 10 and 5 by 5, okay, so the number should be common, okay. So if I divide this 10 and 5 by 5, so this will be 10 divided by, this will be 10 divided by 5, and this will be divided by 5. This will be 10 divided by 5 will be 2, and 5 divided by 5 will be 1, right? So this is 2 by 1. Is there any other common factor of 2 and 1 that can divide these two? Right? Common factors means that of number which can divide two numbers. So 2 and 1 are, is there any common factor? The answer is no. There is no other common factor of 2 and 1 other than 1 itself. So 1 is the only common factor now possible for these two. Uh, 2 and 1 that is numerator and denominator and therefore this fraction that is 2 by 1 will be the simplest form of a fraction of 10 by 5. If your fraction was 10 by 5 this is the uh, fraction that is in the simplest form that it cannot be further reduced to a simpler fraction okay since it has only one common factor that is 1 itself Therefore, this is the simplest form. Now, if you notice that this 5, this 5, that is a divisor in this case, that is dividing 10 and 5, is actually the HCF, that is highest common factor of 10 and 5. If you try to find the highest common factor of 10 and 5, you will get HCF, highest common factor as 5. What does that mean? That means, if there is any fraction given that is a by b if you divide a by b if you try to find the highest common factor let's say the highest common factor of a and b is c suppose this is highest common factor of a and b if c is the highest common factor of a and b and if you divide a and b by this highest common factor that is c then let's say you get e by f let's say suppose then e by f will be the simplest form of this fraction of this a by b okay so what you have to do you have to find the highest common factor of numerator and denominator divide them numerator and denominator by highest common factor and then the result that you will get will be the simpler simplest uh, form of a fraction if any given fraction is already in the simple, simplest form, that is there is no other common factor other than 1, that is highest common factor is 1 itself, then you will say that uh, that number is, that fraction is in the simplest form. Let's take, let's take what? Um, 12 by 18, 12 by 18. Try to find out the highest common factor of 12 and 18. So to find the highest common factor of 12 and 18, this will be 6, then divide by 2, then 3, this is 3. And for 18, this is 2, 9, this is 3, this is 3, this is 1. Okay, so for 2, we can write as 2 times 2 times 3. For 18, we can write it as 2 times 3 times 3. Okay, 2 is present here, 2 is present here, since both are only one time. Here it is 2 times, but here it is 1 time, so we will take only 1 time 2. And 3 is here, 3 is here, 3 is present only 1 time here, but 2 times here. Therefore, we will take only 1 time, times 3. This is 6. 6 is highest common factor of 12 and 18. So if I divide 12 and 18 by, if I divide 12 and 18 by, 
6 then you will get 6 divided by 2 12 12 divided by 6 will be 2 and 18 divided by 6 will be 3 now this is your simplest form of a fraction in case if you want to confirm it then try to find the highest common factor of 2 and 3 you will find that there is only one common factor that is 1 itself of this 2 and 3 therefore 2 and 3 is 2 by 3 is the simplest form of this 12 by 8 let's take one more let's take 5 by 15 okay. try to find the uh, highest common factor of 5 and 15 you will find that that 5 and 15 since 5 can divide this number right 5 can divide this number therefore of course the highest common factor will be 5 there is no use right if if there is a by b and if if a can divide b or b can divide a then that will become the highest common factor right so in this case 5 and 15 5 can easily divide 15 right so this will be the highest common factor that is 5 is the highest common factor now if i divide highest common factor by to this numerator and denominator by 5 this is 5 you will get what 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 is the simplest form of fraction of 5 by 15. If you want to confirm it, just cross check it that 1 by 3 is, has only one common factor that is 1. Therefore, this is the simplest form of a fraction. So if it is asked to write any fraction into simplest form, then what you have to do is find out the highest common factor of numerator and denominator and then divide both numerator and denominator by that highest common factor or HCF. The resultant fraction will be the simplest form of a fraction.